A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more, including An Enthusiast, BrianD0313, Dead Zergling, Dragon RPGM Mag, Radio Raptor, Vlad Tepish3176, and Wretch435. You're all helping to make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. A couple of days ago, I did a little better at Battletoads than usual. This time, hopefully I'm going to get back in the groove of Zelda 2. Now, last time I played, I made it a bit farther, but I was super drunk and I forgot to save, so I'm going to have to do some stuff over again, but that's not the first time I've had to do that in this game. We all know it's not, and none of us should be particularly surprised. It's just something that happens. So... That being said, back into the Island Palace. Hey, Zero, how you doing? Almost a little bit of time no see. There's a pretty good chance I'm going to get myself killed here. And I don't know how many lives I have, but uh, it looks like zero. Which has been known to happen at times. Now, maybe, just maybe, I can make it a little bit farther if I try very hard. Nope, guess not. Okay. So, since we managed to get through that, we'll continue. And I'd like to point out that I have the raft, which is the item from that palace. I do not have the boss beaten, so we're going to have to go back in there and beat the boss. Which is fine. I can do that, I think. And then we'll head over towards Far Eastern Hyrule. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, this is very important because... Thanks for the auto-host, Dre. Because whenever we play a game, what I like to do is take a drink if I die. This time, I have a Spaceballs 1-sized box of wine. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Da yep, that's large-ish, to say the least. So, gonna take a drink. It's a Zinfandel, which I usually uh, don't drink Zinfandel, but it's pretty good. I've been trying to get into more sweet wines because I'm planning on making five gallons of wine myself. Wait, 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 I shouldn't have gone over there. That's the item I got right. I still need to actually... No. Maybe I didn't get the item from that particular... Palace. Okay, well, shut my mouth, I guess. I do have the upstab, which is outstanding. Upstabbing and outstanding. Let's see. Okay, yeah, okay, alright. I got this. I go right from here. Then I get to this. So maybe I already beat the boss, but I didn't get the item. I honestly forget- Oh, you know what the item is on this palace? The recorder. Because you need it to go down south. Alright. I understand what is going on now. This is good, that's what you want. You want to have a basic understanding of the game you're playing. Unless you're doing a blind run, which... If I was doing a blind run of this, I would have said so from the beginning. I am not playing this game blind. I am merely incompetent. I promise. Cross me heart. Alright. Go forth. 
I always thought that the fairy sprite was wearing a bitchin' viking helmet with horns. I'm gonna get the life spell ready. It is fairly inevitable that I will require it. Hey, thanks for the auto-host Wheatstone Homes as well. We're getting all kinds of great auto-hosts here. Now hopefully, I won't disappoint everyone. Which, surely, I must have done last time. But, this time, may be different. That was a bad example. Stop getting stabbed, me. Getting stabbed is no way to win over supporters. Alright, gotta figure out what I have not yet done in this palace. Blip. So to that end, I'm just going to follow the walls until I get to where I need to be. It's an age-old and very effective maze technique. Okay. That was not great. You know, I'm gonna have to set up my auto-hosting. I've got so many great friends, and a large number of them all stream, so... It would only be the good thing to do. There's some health and some magic. Awesome. We're pretty much at ground zero now. This is good, yes? I should have used shield before I grabbed that. Because I think shield is 16 points. Yeah, shield is 16 points. Anytime you have full magic and you have a magic bottle lying on the ground. If you use something that's only 16 points, you get to keep it. Jump, for instance. Now, I just wanted this pee bag, is all. Who wouldn't? Alright, let's get out of here before I wind up screwing myself over. Fantastic choice of options. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna do jump, we're gonna do shield, and then we're gonna beat the crap out of that guy. Because why would we not? And we also could get some extra life. I mean, shit. Why not just use fairy while we're at it, in case there's a door over here? There wasn't a door. That was stupid and wasteful, actually. I got too trigger happy, and it cost me. Hey! Hey, Wheatstone, how you doing, man? Always a pleasure. Always. Okay, so there's where... Uh-oh, it's a blue guy. These guys, forget strategy. Just kill them as fast as you can. Every time. Let's see. Any magic bottles here? No. We good, we good. Okay. So, now we've got Boss Goma. Fine. I understand that. We're going to do some jump and some shield. If we have enough left, we might want to use life later. Wait. He wasn't in there? Oh, I already beat Boss Goma, and now I'm just looking for the item. Okay. Well... That's what happens when you go a long time without playing. You forget what you have and have not done yet. But now that that has been established... Take a drink for getting the wrong idea.
my plan here is that I really want to finish my Zelda 2 run because um, because there's things to be done later. Atrus Wonder, for instance, wants to do a Zelda randomized race with the official, well, unofficial Zelda 2 randomizer, which frankly looks awesome. And I keep telling them that I'll do it as soon as I get done with my regular Zelda 2 run, and I've been putting it off forever, so... I definitely want to finish this so I can do that. Not only that, but people have been asking for all kinds of games that they want me to play, and... I need to get through some games so that I can start some new games. Zelda 2, Battletoads, etc. So many etc. Whoa! Okay, that hit me. Like a stack of bricks. As it does. A stack of bricks is not something that you want having to hit you, my friends. Okay. Orange guy. So, I've got a huge gripe today, and I'll tell you guys all about it as soon as I get some time to relax here. I want the XP from that guy. I guess I'm not going to get it today. Oh shit, it's a blue one. This could be tricky. Very tricky. There's no reason to be here. There's no reason to be over here. Run away! Run away! Must have gotten this key earlier. Indeed. Ah! So, at the end of this session, I have to remember to save the damn game so I don't wind up losing all of my progress yet again. Okay. Well, at least we're not beeping now, so that's... that's nice-ish. Just gonna break some of these here blocks. And... I took a hit anyway. Sure, why not? Blip. No, 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 no! Some bitch! Every single enemy was gunning for me like crazy. I hate that. This is a problem. This is health I could ill afford to lose, folks. Just, really. Alright, you know what? Might as well take a second to grab some extra XP. And we can also use that time to take a drink. That's the nice thing about killing these things. They're always an easy 50 XP. Or, sometimes they just hit you for no reason. I guess. I could kill some of these bits and bots and whatnot. But we might be here all day, so forget it. Damn it! He got me! All I have to do is get the item, and then I'm completely done with this area. The, the flute recorder. The whistly thingy. That's all I need. Oh god. The horrible, unwholesome heads. They have arrived. You can't afford to stick around in rooms like that, man. It just ain't safe. Some bitch. Out my face. All right. We're better now. Not perfect, but better.
I broke those blocks in case I needed to jump to attack, which I did. We might even make it through... Um, we might even get another level before this is all said and done. And this was another waste of my time. Apparently I've gotten this key before as well. How long has it been since the last time I played this anyway? Three, four months? Something like that. It's been an unfortunately long amount of time. That's all I know. Wah! What the hell just happened there? Holy shit! Okay, well that's interesting. That was very interesting. Apparently I discovered some kind of glitch. So weird. Anyway, there's a key that I want. <laughs> Magnets. Must be. I mean, I'm sure someone else has discovered the glitch before. Obviously, I'm not the first person that's happened to. But, um, that's the first time I've seen that. Very interesting. Let's get the hell out of here before the orange menace decides to immolate me to a blistering crisp. It's their favorite pastime, you know. And another blue knight. Fantabulous. I ain't dealing with your nonsense. Take that, jackleg. There we go. That's what I like to see. The fake wall in this level. It's a thing. Anything else a thing that I need to be thinking about here? Uh, sorcerers. The fiery whizrobes of doom and or malfeasance. And why are there bears now? Get me the hell out of here. Please. Please, game. Don't mess with me. I don't need that. Don't none of us need that. Ugh. The blue wonder strikes again, and I don't have any keys. D fucking lightful. Uh, and now I don't have enough magic to use fairy, so I can't just walk through it. Or fly through it, I mean. Is there even any point in fighting this guy right now? I need to get rid of him. He's a thorn in every side that I have. All two of them. Sheesh. Okay. I killed him, but to what end? To what end? Still need a key. Really, I need a lot of stuff here. Chief among them, health. Some health would be great. I would love to have some of that. And then we have the Jackalmen. And the Fire Blasting Wiz Robes. Come on! One of these things has got to drop me some magic. Blue Skeletons! Peabag. God dang. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is plumb nerve racking. There's my key. Okay. There's one problem solved. I just need to get back over there. Without losing two lives. I can lose one life. Unaccounted because I have an extra. Problems and woes, problems and woes. That did. Ah, alas. They got me. It took him a while, but they got me. If it ain't one thing, it's the other. Neat. Can we please hang on to an ounce of health? <laughs> Indeed, take a link. Running like hell here. It would be awesome if I could just get another level right here. Doesn't look like it's likely to happen. Let me guess, the blue guy's back? Is the blue guy back? The blue guy is not black. Hot diggity damn. Times are great. There's the little flute dealy I needed. Now we just gotta get the hell out of this place. Then I go running in outer space again. There is a lot of pain being inflicted upon Link's body. There's very little I can do about it, apparently. Damn. Hell damn fart. Okay. Be out of there. Let's just keep on following this palace to its logical conclusion. Or... Or until I get a game over, which would be basically as effective, because I still get to keep my flute. You know, whichever. Though I would prefer to keep my XP if I can. I very much doubt that I'll be able to pull it off. This stuff is kind of harder than hell. Pretty sure at no point did I come from this direction. But, every once in a while you'll find some health or something in one of these areas. Nope, 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 mega nope. Not gonna do it. Not gonna screw with that. Let's just see if I can find my way back out. That'll be great. Smash TV? You don't say! And Every time... I can't understand... the mindset needed to play a game 800 times in a row to get the speedrun record. I would get bored. Or frustrated. Possibly insane. Likely insane, really. Was this the way I came from? This might be the way I came from. I think it was. That being said, I love to watch speedruns that have been done. It's just that watching someone practice for one 
over and over and over and over and over and over again. Ugh. It's not for me. It takes a lot more dedication than have I. Alright. Let's see if I can cheese myself some kind of... Nope, because that's a thing now. Alright. Never mind. So. We did that, which is good. Up north is the Maze Palace, which I've already done. So now we're heading south. Give me that fairy. Hot dog. Oh, you know what I could do? I could go refill some magic. That would probably be in my best interest. Hello, Grandma. I'll be taking that. Let's see, now we're in good shape. Now we have magic. Which I'll be needing. Sure enough. To the that way. Oh. We got rock throwing sons of bitches. Piss off, Spider Man. Creature. Spider creature. Who's not a man. Who's clearly not a man. It would be in my best interest to pick up some XP. The smart thing to do would be to get my XP uh, filled up when I'm near a town so that I can heal up if I need to. Can't remember if there's another town down here or not right offhand. Probably not. I'll just have to wing it. Alright. Another orange lizard. Dude. Thank you. Yeah, jump, jump. Slide, slide. Alright. We are... Somewhere. Oh, right. All of these places that I can go suck. This ain't good. I'm gonna try to head north and make for the hidden town. That's my best chance. <laughs> Everybody must get stoned. Everybody must get stoned. Bob Dylan won a Nobel Peace Prize. Or a Nobel Prize, anyway. Not a Peace Prize, but... Bob Dylan won a Nobel Prize. Bob Dylan did. I want that to sink in. I gotta get through this cave. I really gotta get through this cave. It's... So very imperative. So verative. Dead Zergling, get the hell out of my stream! <laughs> you know damn well who Bob Dylan is. Shit, 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 shit! There we go, okay. I made it. Thank goodness. Alright. Something about going in here.
Uh, there's a secret at the edge of town. Yeah, but the funny thing about Obama is that he got the Nobel Peace Prize, and he bombed a lot of people, so that's why that's funny. Bob Dylan, I don't know why he got the Nobel Prize. I mean... He's a pretty good songwriter. His singing... But he's a great songwriter. If you haven't uh, listened to a lot of songs that Bob Dylan has written, I can recommend those. Just make sure that someone else is singing them. Okay. So now we get to go to the edge of the town. Wait, I was supposed to get the spell spell at some point. Was the spell spell in this town? Because I've got all of the magic containers. I need to look for the spell spell. Probably missed something obvious with that one. Looks like I can get in the fireplace. Well, please do then. Remember... the magic word. Yay, the spell spell. Okay. This is good. This is what we needed. Now we're about back to where I was when I accidentally forgot to save during the last time I played. All we gotta do is come over here. Hit the wrong button. And use the spell spell. Warm. There. Never have to worry about keys again. We will, however, have to worry about keys. AKA bats. Well now, we are in good shape. I wish they were giving out knighthoods like candy, I'll take one. Wait. Oh, right, it's my magic that's empty, not my health. I got confused there for a second. Shut up, Zero. My damage is awesome. It's exactly where it's supposed to be. And Zero, why aren't you drinking? Alright. Very clever. Very clever. Now, back through the cave we go. Alright. Now, here's what I'm thinking. And normally, I don't like to grind during a live thing, but... Yes, I am drinking from a carton. Hey, Archon. This is not Battletoads. In fact, this is Zelda 2. And the reason I'm playing Zelda 2 is... Oh yeah, good point. Link is kind of green. Very observant. Drink from a carton. Well, I don't really need to grind so much as I just want to get the next level because I have zero lives left. Yeah, I imagine it does. I mean, I'd be horrified looking too if I was facing all of this crap. And Link doesn't even have a good set of booze. Which you should absolutely have if you're dealing with all this crap. I, I tell you what, hmm, oh. I am gonna have to do something here. 
These guys, only vulnerable to fire. Relax, Zero. It'll be fun. Remember, you don't have to always do everything in a proper order. See? Look, there's attack. Now I've got almost full attack. That's great. Archen, um, you're reminding me of Twilight Princess, which is a fantastic Zelda game. One of my very favorite. That loves me some Twilight Princess. Now, I gotta make it down to this town yonder. For reasons which will become apparent. That flesh-colored arm in his arm shooting fire is the Master Sword. Obviously, don't you know that the Master Sword looks like a necktie that's beige and stiff? Duh. <laughs> Actually, when I... Shit. I'm very much looking forward to playing Breath of the Wild, but I'm not going to buy a Switch just for it. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, since I have a Wii U. You know, I bought a Wii U thinking that there were going to be all these great games that I was going to play on the Wii U. But no, I've got like five games on the Wii U. I want there to have been more Wii U games, damn it. fair, you know, when you look at the games that are coming out for every system, like, everybody's batshit about the PS4, and I've been a PlayStation fan for a long time, too. I'll have to get Tropical Freeze, because I love Donkey Kong Country. Uh, Dead Zergling, how do you feel about Donkey Kong Country? I don't think you've made your opinion on that clear. For a while. I wonder if I should get my helmet. I got distracted. That was entirely my bad. You saw the title screen. Drink. That Zergling did not have fun with the original Donkey Kong Country on the SNES. Yes, please don't have a seizure. That would make everyone feel bad. Alright, need to make it across this bridge before I die. Back. Nope. You know what I should have done from the start? There's no reason to make this hard on myself.
All right. <laughs> it is seizureific. Now let's get the last spell if I can. Hi, buddy. I can give you most powerful magic. I can give you a handful of butter. So now we have thunder, which is necessary for the final boss. I think you absolutely have to have that spell to beat the game. <laughs> I need to make the cross bridge before I die. The government's like to make the cross this bridge before I die. <laughs> Bob Dylan's song. <laughs> Poop Smith, did you give me bum candy? He sure did. Ah, Home Star Runner references. Here also timely. I am not going to make it through this before I die of dying. But by God, I'm gonna try. Fortunately, despite everything else about this level, the boss of this level is one of the ones that I remember how to beat. Because this is one of my favorite bosses back in the day. I just wish I remembered how to get through the rest of the level. I'm going all this way for a key, aren't I? Calling it now. Gonna get over there, there's gonna be a key. I'm gonna wish I hadn't bothered- nope, there's not even a key, so... That made this excursion, say it with me now, completely pointless. Just keep using the life spell, me. Yeah. Well. Hey. Hey. Okay, made it. Damn. Yeah, it's not like, um... Ah! Oh no, it's a good ghost! And nothing else. Look, a 200-point bag is not going to do anything for me. Let's face it. A 200 point bag isn't going to win me any games. Oh, oh if only I had the jump. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Fabio was the spokesman for I Can't Believe It's Not Butter. He also appeared on the poster for Wizards and Warriors 2, Iron Sword. I don't know why I'm still going. I'm gonna have to start all the way back at the start of the game again anyway. Unless I find a red... ...thing. A red thing. Magic bottle. Like now. Which I find unlikely at best. Okay, there we go. And again. Once more we find ourselves here. I 
have to actually quit the game to save. I didn't forget to save. If you save, you actually quit the game. As long as I don't quit the game, I can still save. I just have to remember not to quit the game. You can either continue or save, you see. Although I guess I could save and then reset and hope that it doesn't screw up. But I'd rather just, you know, keep doing... And something hit me right on the edge of the screen. Thanks, edge of the screen. You're the tits. Oh, yeah. So I was going to tell you guys what pissed me right the hell off today. You won't believe this. So, I've got everything I need to make a five-gallon jug of wine, except frozen juice concentrate. And I went to five different stores trying to find frozen juice concentrate, and not a single damn one of them had it. It was ridiculous. You used to be able to get frozen juice concentrate for about a buck fifty a can. And now it's like, oh, you want frozen juice concentrate? Haha, <laughs> screw you, buddy. You're just gonna have to buy fully processed juice at a much inflated price. Like a good consumer. Yes, five different grocery stores. What's so weird about that? <laughs> A dark alley. I should be so lucky. Alright. Let's see. Once more into the breach, friends. Let's try to avoid dying until at least we get to the place? <sighs> I fucking hate the walk to this area. It's not good. No es bueno. Out of here? Okay. Once more into the breach. That's a fantastic question, Wheatstone. There's a scientific explanation which I will make up later. Alright. So we tried following one way around. Let's try doing it a different way this time. So far, we have failed in that respect. Huzzah. All I have to do is get to either the item or the boss. And as far as I remember, the item isn't even necessary to beat the game. Which is cool. And we're going somewhere else now. You know what? We're going somewhere else and also, also. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that third one, though. This is where we are now. This is what we're doing. <coughs> I'm gonna have to save something. Oh, obscure Zelda hacks are great. Kill this guy. Finally. Sometimes the blue guys stay dead. <laughs> 
which is what you want. And these guys, you have to have Reflect active to even hurt them. Disaster piece. Hey, it's this room again. Okay. Bloody hell. Every time I walk through the door, something hurts me a little more. Black! Okay. Take this, you fiendish dudes. Yeah, what now? Didn't see that coming, did ya? I'm getting him. I'm gonna get him. I'm not getting them at quite the rate I was expecting. Oh no. I have made a terrible error in judgment. Things may not end well for the Rosser. Oh god, why? Disaster Peace Theater would be a blessing at this point. This is so far beyond. And this is where I would have landed if I'd gone around the other way. Making that entire detour again. Say it with me a complete waste of time. Ay, 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 So apparently this is the way that we need to go. And there is, in fact, a fall down. I just gotta remember where it is. There it is. That was the third knight statue, I believe. So next time, that's where we have to jump. I know, it's... it's completely unheard of, is it not? Unexpected, to say the least. Alright. This is a very tricky jump, but I made it. So it was the third knight statue, right? One, two, three. Well, it was three, but, um... I jumped a little soon there. We gotta make this jump. It's imperative. It must happen. Nothing like fake fake floors. I mean, people always give Castlevania 2 shit for having fake floors, but um This game's got a fake floor. is mine. Except for all those hits I took. Forget about the hits I took. We'll ignore those. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you many bosses. Attention, all of the women have crashed their cars. Bouncy, bouncy. 
bouncy, 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 bouncy. And... Blue Bastard. We all hate Blue Bastard. I don't know which Castlevania you're talking about, Wheatstone. Hey! I actually got the secret item. That's cool. So where the hell's the boss? The fact that I found the item but not the boss is... at least somewhat concerning. Because last time I... played through this game, I found the boss but not the item. It was a completely different experience. Take a Larry. I don't even know what you're talking about now, man. See, it is possible to make this without having to use jump magic. Oh, I get it. Hey, I'm a Three Stooges fan. I actually like slack slapstick comedy. Unlike some people. Who are like, I'm too good. Alright, well. Using the jump magic. Jump magic, jump magic, jump magic, jump magic. It's a David Bowie reference, people. Look it up. Now we gotta go all the way back through this mess. Ah. Now I've played Harmony of Dissonance, but not Harmony of Despair. I can block those. Just because I can't reflect them doesn't mean I can't block them. I must start to remember that. And for some reason, that happened. Yeah. Pea bag. That's 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 cool. That's what I needed. And wrong way. Another trip back to the castle. That is very correct, DZ. It will be happening quite soon. Yeah, Wheatstone, I think it is. Here's the thing, I actually have a PS3. What the Okay. I don't know what I'm doing up here, but I'm making great time. I have a PS3, but my TV is broken, so I can't actually do anything with my PS3 at the moment. Well, apparently this is the way I needed to go. That's the good news. The bad news is... That's the bad news. Shut up, bald bull. Alright, let's actually try saving this time. Pretend you didn't see this. And let's see what happens if I just save and start. Okay. Now I actually did get the proper save off. Huzzah! And away we go! Oh yeah! I wanna be the guy guiding. Good times. 
And yes, I saw your comment that I had mislabeled a couple of them. I just haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. Um, good catch, by the way. Right into a bad time. The enemies, they give you a bad time. They will continue to do so. So they will. Let's get that. Alright. Wait a minute. No, I want to go... This way. So far, so good. Now don't get clocked by rock. During... I mean, I'll try not to fall in the holes. I can't make you any promises. They're, um... They're kind of ubiquitous. The holes, I mean. There's a there's a whole lot of them. Yeah, a whole lot of them. You, you get it? You get it? You get it? You get it? You get it. That was not what I wanted to have happen. Especially with the blue lizards. Uh, I thought there was a thing there. I may have been mistaken. Alas, I think I was mistaken. You know what? Why don't we go up here? Wait a minute. I'll bet... ...that there's something that could actually help me in this place up here. Like... ...maybe a heart container? A heart container would be nice. A heart container would be the bee's knees and or the tits. Something's gonna attack me. It's an eyeball scorpion. And that is not a heart container, that is a mere 500 XP. Which is basically a joke at this point in the game. Well, crap. That was a disappointment. But no, I could easily just grind out the rest of my levels. But that would be boring to watch. So I'm not gonna dit. Not gonna dit. At least, not during the actual episode. Maybe if it comes, worse comes to worse, I could just flat out do it later. But I'm not doing it right now. Okay, do not... I had one job. I had one job. Things need to go a little bit better than that. It's 
Speaking of falling down holes... I watched your last episode of, uh... Super Mario World there, buddy. Holes were falling down that day as well, my friend. So if anything else, we have something in common on that score. A whole mess of dead characters at the bottom of holes, have we both. Okay. Huh. Didn't make it through there. Let's avoid the rocks. We did not avoid the rocks. Dodge, dodge, aw. <sighs> I have two copies of E.T. on the Atari. <laughs> and yet, I only have one copy of this game. And it's the non-gold game, it's the gray one. I had borrowed both the gray and gold copies from a friend who was letting me take care of them while he was moving, and at the end of his move, he, um, he, uh, noticed that I was wearing a shirt that he really liked. It was a shirt with a half-naked blue chick riding a giant beer can out of a plane dropped onto a small town, and it was one of his favorite beer brands. And he was like, man, that's a cool shirt. I'm like, well, um, I've got two of them if you want one. And he's like, oh, dude, that's cool. What do you want in return? I'm like, um, well, I really love Zelda too. He's like, dude, sure. So I traded a beer shirt for a copy of Zelda 2, and that's why I have a copy of Zelda 2. Or how I have a copy of Zelda 2, I should say. Eh, they're both about the same, I think. I do have a gold copy of Zelda 1, though. Okay. Here's my new plan. And this is a plan I know will work, because... I've done something like it before. What we're gonna do here... is... We are going to go back in and out of this place until I have full magic in life. Okay, I have full magic in life. Or, I think there's one pixel of magic down, but... Yeah, I have the original Zelda in gold. I mean, to say it's more valuable... To be fair, it's like maybe an extra five bucks out of twenty or something. I used to have some games that were worth a shitload of money, but then they got stolen. And then I was sad. I also had some games that weren't worth anything, but were a lot of fun. And they also got stolen. And that made me sad. Alright, let's see here. I have no idea which way to go. Was it this way? I don't think it was this way. Because I remember this not being the way. Let's hop down here and bear to the right. After getting some life. I don't think this is it either, buddy. 
because as I recall, I landed on the ceiling there, then I went through here. Now we're getting somewhere. Just get out of there. Get out of there, Spangbab. Varia was one of my very early um, blind LPs. And funny enough, believe it or not, I did that LP of Faria, like, um, back in, like, 2000, I don't know, somewhere between 7 and 8, and last week someone actually commented on my uh, last Faria episode. It was weird. Fudge! Fudge, 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 fudgels. This is one of the harder um, areas to get through just because of all the damn problems that you have. I enjoyed Faria. And like I say, I did it mostly blind, so... It was, it was a fun experience, it really was. Sine wave head fever. Everybody put your snake hat on. It's Medusa head-tastic. Yeah. Damn. Okay. We are now getting somewhere new. For what it's worth. Yeah, the puzzle tower was freaking awful. Absolute garbage, that one. I'm just gonna go through doors as often as I can, because... This is a boss, isn't it? Well, what do you know? Looky, looky, we got... Lance, blue guy. Lance Bluington. Rock chest huge. Hey, did it did everybody hear that MST3K is coming back? Uh, did you upload any Bloodborne videos? Mm, I don't think you did. I know my buddy, uh... Ultra J-Man is uh, finally getting back to doing Bloodborne after, like, forever. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna kill this guy like this. But this is good. This gives us a chance to just relax and discuss good times while horrendous waveform sounds sound off in the background. There was a beard hair in my wine, and the only way it could have gotten there was from me, so I can't complain. I don't know, I'm... I don't know anything about the new series. Is the uh, new series on the Netflix? Because if it is, I'm definitely going to be getting Netflix. Even if I have to give back my gym membership that I haven't used, which costs the exact same as a Netflix account. I mean... You know, not ever being able to go to the gym that I never go to... 
will be hard on me, but if it means that I get to watch MST3K... Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I mean they're making, they're uh, about to make brand new MST3K episodes. Shit, didn't make it in time. And now we're in a loop. You're not a magic bottle. Get out of my face, Bubbles. Yeah, but all of the original staff is still at it. Or, like, uh, involved in it. Please don't, DZ. I may not survive. And I immediately realized the mistake I made. No, no, Wheatstone, not Rift Tracks. Rift, Rift Tracks is what they have been up to. They're making an honest to god, yeah, new series of, well, you know. Pump. You up. Okay, this is where I was. Now I just need to make this jump coming up. Or I need fairy magic. Either or. And I didn't make it. And I didn't make it. I may actually, honest to god, have to eat a death before I'm even able to progress. Unless I just happen to get a magic vial. Because I have to make it to the right of those last two areas I was in. I forget if it was the top one or the, the middle one. But it's one of the other. One or the other. Maybe if I go this way, I can find some magic. Feel the magic. Feel it floating in the air. Um... Actually, DZ, you might be onto something there. You really might. It is possible that I might just could use jump magic. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It might be too late to make it happen now, but I'm gonna do my damnedest to try it before I die. Here we go! What's gonna kill me before I get there? Could be anything. Uh... The only way you can kill those wizards is by using Reflect Magic. And Reflect Magic costs more than I had. Okay, got through there. Now, that being said, I don't think this is the way to go. I think this is. So you have to cast Fairy halfway through that fall. That's the only way to get over here. Very tricky, that. Yep, that was it. That was absolutely it. Okay. For this fight, I want shield, and I want jump. And that should be all I need.
This boss is called Barba. Not as I thought when I was ten, Barbara. There's a difference. Oh yeah, I heard Turbo Kid is great. My buddy Bon is always voting for it for movie night, but it hasn't gotten the random uh, random pick yet. But I'm looking forward to when it does. Turbo Kid looks really awesome. Speaking of uh, 80s style stuff... He's coming to get you, Baba. He's horny. But um, have you ever watched um, Kong Fury? Kong Fury is a really fun um, 80s parody slash homage as well. Plus, that's free to watch on YouTube. I'm not doing great. Yeah, I love Night of the Living Dead references. Oh yeah, One Punch Man is great. I love the I love the uh, chill nature of Saitama. Uh, they're they're probably going to do more seasons of that though, so um, I wouldn't worry about it being too short. So many great parodies and homages have been going on lately. See, watching my buddy, well, my buddy, there was this older kid in elementary school that I only got to hang out with once in a while, and he had Zelda 2, and he had the NES Advantage joystick, and he had all that cool stuff, and I was like, wow, this game is awesome. Oh crap. I am not doing as well at this as I thought I would. I need to get on the ball. There. Two hits in a row. That's getting on the ball. Just stay in the middle. You have a better chance. Maybe I didn't have a better chance. Oh, really? Cool, I'll have to try that out. Also, howdy, Daro. Darogen. Darogen. Doragon. Yeah. Yoink. I, I was making a point about this older kid that I knew when I was in, like, second or third grade, who had Zelda 2, and I saw him, you know, I went over to his house one time, and he was playing this boss, and, I, and then I fucked up. Really? That was my fault. That was all entirely my fault. <laughs> You're right, I got distracted. I shouldn't have gotten distracted. Also, it should be noted that if you're going to be drinking your ass off while you're gaming, drink plenty of cold water so that you don't get a hangover. Hard mute.
the hard mute on my microphone, of course, so that you don't hear me slurping and sucking down water, which a lot of people have a huge problem with. I don't think my story was actually going anywhere now that I think about it. I went over to that guy's house, he was playing Zelda 2, he was fighting Barba, and that made me think that it was really cool. Yes, definitely don't uh, mix alcohol with narcotic pain meds. There's lots of stuff you shouldn't mix alcohol with, but um, chief among them, narcotics. Now me? I gave blood yesterday, and I find that that makes drinking even more fun. But, if you're not a longtime alcoholic, definitely don't do it because you probably can't handle it as well. Quiet, DZ. You don't want to turn anyone else into a weird drunkard like me. It ain't good for him, man. It just ain't. We're trying to be responsible. And by trying to be responsible, I mean being responsible in the sense that we're responsible adults, not in the sense that we're technically responsible for talking someone into killing people. Oh yeah, people will take my blood. The thing about my blood is that it's incredibly, incredibly disease-resistant. Go figure. Alright. Now, what I really want to do is avoid dying on this bridge. So to that end, I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go around it. Pretty good plan, huh? Well, I mean, you know, when you drink a gallon of booze a week, your blood tends to be able to fight off most infections. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. I think there's a heart container somewhere around this. There is! Yeah! Yeah! That's a pretty good decision to have to make, man. See, now I always wear lots of pants and stuff. And I screwed myself out of one health bar. Here's the reason I always wear full clothing. And this is important. The thing is, I can't stand not having pockets. I have to have pockets. Because if I don't have pockets, I can't carry all of the stuff that I need for everyday life. Like... A big fuck-off knife. And... A combination corkscrew, bottle opener, and blowtorch. And, to a lesser extent, my car keys. All things that I have in my pocket. Ah, see, I have a much easier method of keeping the solicitors away. Which is that my office is actually... Um, I've got these two windows that face the front road. And I leave them on all day, and if I see, like, uh, Mormons or salesmen coming by, 
I just pretend that I'm not here. It works. Tidy, not so whiteies. Ah, these frickin' guys. And then you have a mini Goma, and he got me on the Boomer Meringue. And you. I'm not thrilled with your nonsense, mister. Oh yeah, I used to I used to really fuck with solicitors and religious folks. I mean, all right, I get it. I respect what they're going for. I'm all for a good religion, but I don't go to people's house and bug them while they're, you know, trying to relax. You got to draw the line somewhere, man. So, yeah, I used to have a lot of fun messing with them, but... In my old age, I've gotten a little more mellow. You can tell that I've gotten more mellow in my old age because I hardly spend any time at all yelling and screaming and throwing things anymore. He said, knowing full well that no one would buy it. Okay. Don't forget to forget to, don't forget to forget to dodge. Obviously. No, I've never done that specifically. Though I have considered it, believe you me. Hey, I didn't say I never throw things or anything. I said I don't do it as much. And I don't have enough to cast Reflect. So I'm gonna have to find... I'm gonna have to find... You know what? I don't have to find anything. Okay, new plan. This is not a very good plan, but it will definitely work. This is a gross and stupid plan. But I have very few options, and I want to get done with this level before I die of old age. So first I jump in the lava, and then I can cast Fairy and fly across. Then we got these nut sacks again, as always. Um, what kind of knife I? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, this is actually just an old, an old pocket knife that I got when I was like 10 years old. I um. My grandpa was big into, you know, knives and guns and, you know, building stuff, and, uh, you know, he was my favorite guy. And uh, one year, for Christmas, I decided to get everyone knives out of this catalog that grandpa got. So, like, I ordered a different knife for everyone, and I had one left over, and this is the one I kept. And it's just so old and broken down that it basically just snaps open at the drop of a hat. So, it's my favorite. As you can see, it's like been... It's been ground down and sharpened and beat to shit and... Like, uh, it's, it's been used to open beer cans and... I've had it for over 20 years, so... It's just, you know, my favorite old knife from when I was a kid, that's all. I love it. I don't even remember exactly which catalog it came out of, or what company it was from. I've, I've got several knives, I've got, you know, several guns. 
I'm not as big a collector as other people in my family are, but... You know, I, I enjoy what I have. Okay. Once more into the Barba Breach. Let's see if I can avoid effing up this time. This should not be a difficult fight. I mean, it's... It's a very specific set of patterns. To be fair, the most of the battle ax half of those battle axes belong to my grandpa. That same grandpa I mentioned before. And he used to keep them right under his bayonet display. hi -o. Beat stone with a zinger. You gotta be careful here. Beat stone, you wanna field this one? It's an expression, DZ. Settle down. Come on. We got this. And Barba's constantly jumping up the far edge there. That was more risky than it needed to be, probably. But no, the term battle axe is an archaic term that means your old lady. Hey, Dre. Very funny, DZ. Very funny. Ah, uh, yes. Actual axes. I'm glad you finally caught one, Dre. You came just in time. Come on. Nah! Ah! Very, very little stream delay lately, Dre. It has actually been very, very um, on point these days. Okay. And away we go. Take a drink. Well, I try to readjust my camera. My camera has not been particularly perfect the last hour or two. That'll have to do. All right. So, we definitely want more magic. Them some good stats, baby. So... I think we've got everything we need, maybe? In order to go ahead and hit up the final area. At least I hope to God we do. Alright, this is... Uh, I don't want to walk all the way around. Well, I think everything goes up to eight, but I can't remember. Damn it, Bobby! So, 
here's the thing. Yeah, magic stat makes magic costs go down. The thing is, I have... Well, I still have one more life. But, if you get to the last palace... Even if you lose all of your lives, you start from the last palace. So, that's kind of huge. Also, there's some, um... There's some of this. Yoink! I'll take it! Ugh. This is a very dangerous situation! Damn! Magic Costco! It's ma much better than regular Costco! Get me the- ah! Fudge out of there. You know what? It's probably for the best if I just uh, start this over. Let's save. Again, drink. As is the name. Radio. Okay. We're on our way, man. I'm just gonna cut across the area. Why not? Got all my heart containers, got all my magic containers. Got all my spells. Things are going well. Relatively. And we're making great time. Excellent. Oh, -ho! we got ourselves a Donnybrook brewing up in the chat. Now, when you say two tries, do you mean counting the try I already had, or two tries more? You gotta specify this stuff, or no one's gonna want to take your bets. The Castle Dre is on the other side of that lava field. Basically. You gotta go through this graveyard and pass some lava. Basically, Dead Zergling's just saying, does anyone want to make a counter prediction? Make your predictions now. I have a plan. It's not a very good plan, and it probably won't work. It's already not working. Screw it. Just go through the fence. Frickin' eyeballs! Is a, is a, is a. Fun fact. Those eyeballs, they're called MOAs. M-O-A. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no! That was not... good. You will not make this putt, you jackass! <laughs> Wait a minute, I have a plan. Oh my god, that didn't work as well as I needed it to. Shit.
Why does this never work as well as I thought it would? God bless a fuzzy brown moo cow. This frickin' game, man. That was an awful plan, and I never expected it to work. Yeah, I should have used shield in the first place. I honestly should have, but it's too late now. <sighs> well, there's one more continue. So, according to Z to DZ, there's one more, and then on the one after that, I get it. If I understood his prediction correctly. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong there, DZ. <laughs> Soda Popinski approves. Aye. By the way, this isn't Soda Pop. This is cheap booze and a giant box. Hey, Dre, did you, uh... Ah, okay. So this is the one I need to make it on. But yeah, uh, Dre, I, um... made a new record in Battletoads yesterday, if you haven't seen that before. You guys' Battletoads race inspired me. And I made it all the way to a new place. I'm not going to tell you what that place was. Just in case you're worried about spoilers, but... You know, it's all thanks to the good folks at RPGMMag.com and their Battletoads race. Throwing rocks at me, throwing rocks at my face, I don't like it much. <laughs> That's what Lantis said, Dre. That's exactly what Lantis said. And yet, and yet, it just made me buckle down and try harder. Go figure, right? Okay. We're gonna get this. Even with infinite lives and save state, save state abuse, Battletoads is no joke. It's not easy under any circumstances. Does this regenerate? Please tell me it, it does. Okay. This is a game changer, friends. That helps. Shield it. Yes. Damn it. Come on, game. Don't fuck with me like this. It ain't cute! It wasn't cute. Well. Aha! So that's how we do it. No! Ah, oh, I came up with a new thing and then it it was immediately fucked over. Oh. 
you don't you don't stay alive, so I didn't have to do that again. Well, found a new way of beating Orange Lizard. So that's nice. Huh. You know, I didn't think that I was... Shield Plus Fairy would be very good, but... Wait a minute. Yeah, Shield Plus Fairy would be very good. I could get me through uh, two entire... I could get me through two entire ones, and then I'd only have to get through one other one. But I'd get there faster. Hmm. Again, Dre, that strategy might have something to it. It very well could. Hmm. We may have to try this. Oh, did I get away from me, smelly fart man. Damn it. I didn't think that this run was going to last 30 minutes, let alone two hours. And it could last even longer than that, now that we're really into it. Well, they're not immune to my sword, they just have shields. Like, uh, this one is immune to the sword, but he's vulnerable to fireballs, which only costs a small amount of magic. Any enemy that, um, has a shield, it's a matter of, um, hitting above or below their shield, or... Like that. See, he has a shield, it moves up and down, but... If you jump and uh, hit right at the pixel above where his shield can possibly hit, and it's like a it's it's an area of about four or five pixels, then you can easily um, get it every time. So that's the way that works. What would be perfect is if I could trick a fairy into coming about. But I don't know if fairies even spawn on this part. Because I haven't seen any yet. Oh shit! I made a bad mistake there. Okay, okay. New plan. This is a very important plan, and I need it to work. How's about, and this is important, I go over to the nearest town, which is still very far away and difficult to get to, but I could completely refill my health and magic, which would be nice. And there was a fairy in the forest right there, I saw it. Except it didn't show up until, like, the very last second, so good for it, I guess. Thanks a lot, fairy. What a dick. Okay. Grab some health, grab some energy, all that good stuff. And we go back, and we have a new lease on life. Speaking of life... And... we're good. Okay. This is gonna be a super long episode, but I'm fine with that. I'm very fine with that. Frankly, I should have already beaten this game months ago. Ah! Already a health box down. What is wrong with me? Inexcusable. Two health boxes down, but it's not as... Two and a half... Do I? Yep, three and a quarter. Awesome. 
This may have been a futile trip. I am nearly certain this was a futile trip. I'm just raw, sir. That's right, lizard lips. I need to go this way, actually. And I didn't make it back in time. Okay. Suit yourself, game. You're being very difficult. And I can... Oh, I skipped the lizard gauntlet. Cool. Get this. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. And that's the problem. The random encounters screw me a screw over every screw in time because they're screwy. No, 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 no. Just get me the hell out of here, game. I don't deserve this. Okay. We want a shield. We want a fairy. Run like hell. Get through it. Hey, Led Zeppeli. How you doing? You're witnessing a breakdown in action. Let me think. Haha! -ha! Day is mine. What if I try really hard, and this is just a theory here, and it's not working. I was gonna say, what if I try really hard to get some... Na -na -na -na. <sighs> I hate this section. I've never been good at it, under the best of circumstances. And I've been drinking my ass off for 12 hours, so these are hardly the best circumstances. And I show no signs of slowing my drinking. Which makes it even harder. One of these days, you'd think that I'd learn my lesson. But I don't. Da, 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 da. On the raft. Gotta go, gotta go! Is it? Oh. I'm trying to dodge as many bullets as possible now. I can only dodge so many bullets. Now I wish I could dodge so many bullets. I would love to be able to dodge all the bullets. Alas. I cannot dodge that many bullets. Ah. Almost had a good run at that one. This one's the annoying one. God, you guys, you're killing me. You're killing me with these bets here. You're just hedging your bets is what you're doing. And I appreciate that. I do. I get it. What the hell? That thing just hit me. 
It just hit me because. Good for it. What a delightful eyeball. It's like, well, fuck you, buddy. You're getting hit. Talk shit, get hit. That those aren't though that's not that's not a that's that's not a warning, those are instructions. Talk shit and get hit, period. You're done. You're done. You're done, Holmes, you're done. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I like the way you think there, Lud. Mr. Zeppeli. Welcome to hell. I can think of worse ways to spend eternity, though. Alright. Let's be very careful here. Let's be very careful here. Maybe even more careful than this. Ah, damn it! So far, so good. <laughs> ah, Bart versus the world. If only someone would do something involving that game. But when's that ever going to happen, right? Probably never. I was so hoping we could get through this... ...without winding up here... ...fighting these. Right, right, the race files. Okay. Hey, look at it this way. I'm getting somewhere, at least. Now, if I can make it through this, I have a good chance of making it through the last one. But I have to make it through this one first. And to do that, I have to kill most of these enemies. It's not a matter of getting the things done, it's just a matter of me actually settling down and doing it, which is... You'd be surprised at how much trouble I have doing- I gotta get out of this place! I go run in an outer space again! Team Rosser just blasted off. Okay, well, that was almost... great. We're out of here, man. See ya. We got this. We got this. Man, uh, look out for the eyeballs. Fucking eyes, man. Even the scorpions have eyes. The hills have eyes. The eyes have fireballs. Oh god, why? We gotta get out of here, man. Fuck! This is not good, man. This is not good!
Wow, where did you guys get these icons? Huh. Neat. Okay. Once more, we go a fighting. Hooray! Meet Stone Holmes talking about the cross toast. The plus toast. I'm sure that's it. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds about legit. See now, during a run that I was doing just for myself... And this is the important thing, which you, which you have to understand. During a normal run, I would have ground all of my levels up, and then I would not be taking as much damage, and I'd have more magic to work with. But I'm not doing that during this. Because I'm trying to get through in an entertaining manner, without grinding the entire series to a halt. Even though the series has been ground to a halt for, like, three episodes now. So, more the fool I. I mean, what you gonna do, really? I don't need to be saved from falling down holes. I just need to stop doing it, that's all. And someday I'll understand how to avoid it. Look. Dead Zergling, look at it this way. I bet a lot of people here have never seen my Shadows of Cairn run. But would you say that my Shadows of Cairn run was more or less ridiculous than trying to beat Zelda 2. Or just Shadows of Cairn in general. Did I disable the curse word filter? I'm not sure I did. I meant to. Might not have done it. Alright. I guess I didn't disable it. I wish I'd have disabled it. Ugh. I basically got the worst combination of shit that I could have possibly gotten. Right here. I got the blue lizards in addition to this area, so I basically wound up completely fucked on that one. Terrible shame, that. Fuck me. <sighs> That's me and the entire giant box of wine. So that's done. 
I mean, I would like to do that. And it seems like a great idea when you say it out loud, but it's... Honestly, I swear, I'm not making this up. It's harder than it seems. I promise. Jill didn't jump every lizard rock throwing encounter. I could do that. I mean, it couldn't hurt. I couldn't possibly do worse than I've been doing, so might as well try it. Oh, after lizard rock throwing. Very well. Uh, no dead zergling, I did not know that. Did you know that I've beaten uh, Super Mario World a couple hundred times? We all have our strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> this is one of my weaknesses, and yet, I love this game. I absolutely love it. I can't say I'm very good at it, but by God, I love it. Also, Donkey Kong Country. I'm really good at Donkey Kong Country. Aw, oh, you would race me in Super Mario World? That's so cool of you. I know, right? Yep, there we go. Knew I was gonna get hit somewhere. I'm going to have to use a life spell. Didn't want to do it. I really didn't. Hey, I'd play it. I'd play the hell out of it. Still don't have a full sword blast, which is a problem. God damn it. We've got this super hard um random encounter. The random encounters are what are getting me. Like 5 times out of 6. I'm going to have to just like figure out how to get through this. Without dying completely. Which is what I'm doing right now. Dying completely. Don't fuck with me, game. You fucked with me. And I bounced right off of that shit bag McGillicuddy into the lava. And I I can't Ugh. It's all luck. 99.9% .9 of me getting through here is luck. It has always been luck. It will always be luck. Thank you, Sharp Pointy Stick. I agree. This is hilarious. If I were watching someone else do this, I'd be laughing my head off. Because, yes, this is very funny when it's happening to someone else. This I know. God damn it. You blue eyeball motherfucker. Yeah, keep, keep dying. Keep dying, blue eyeball. The blue eyeball did not die fast enough, and now it's still hitting me. It's coming at me like, like I owe it money. What a douche. Yeah, it is definitely like a dumpster fire. I do not disagree with you, man. Ah, you are not wrong.
throw another throw another spark on that dumpster fire there. <laughs> you never quite you never quite have enough accelerant on the fire in the dumpster, but um, every once in a while you get a little bit more and. <sighs> I don't want to fight these guys on a tiny platform. I really don't. You know, the funny thing is... I'm trying to kill the Azdre. I really am, I swear. Damn your eyes! Too late. The last time I played this seriously was probably six or seven years ago. And six or seven years ago, I had this all figured out, and I beat the game from start to finish in a couple of days. But now I can't remember how I did it. I really can't. Um, I beat Super Mario World a hundred times because it was one of the first games I had for the SNES. But Dre, there are no bigger platforms. They won't let you get to a bigger platform. They knock you in the lava on your way. It's garbage in, garbage out, man. Alright. Let's think about this logically. Or not. You know, whatever. I'm not picky. Try making it through here. Which is what you want. Just getting shucked by rocks. Grab some health, grab some life. And we're better off than we started. Getting the weaker of the enemy groups is good. That's what we want. We don't want to get the strong enemy groups. If we keep getting the weak enemy groups, we can possibly work with this. If worse comes to worse, we might actually have to grind for levels before we can even deal with it. Okay, wait a minute. What if we cheese it? If we encounter an enemy on the same frame that we enter that, if the enemy frame is easier, then we do that instead of the actual action sequence. So that could be the trick here. So far, so good. Okay. 
I know, right? Oh, this could be it, man. Ah, uh, if I don't get killed right here. Okay. We can still pull this off. Maybe not. Okay. I could have gone worse, could have gone better. We still got this. I hope. Good, good. Uh, I don't want to keep having to do this. And I fucked up. I got greedy, and I paid for it. I know, man, I know. Okay. Ah, oh, it's just a pee bag. Now things actually stay just as hard as they have been. They don't get any easier. Because they never get any easier. Damn it. Stop attacking me, blue eyeball. You're not gonna stop attacking me, are you? It's a colostomy bag. It's a bag of pee. Okay, blue eyeball, incoming. Alright, good, good, good. We can ignore that one. That's fine. Probably that one, too. Ugh. Woof. Good dodge, good dodge. Way to go, me. I was well played. Nope. Do the same thing. This could be it. Or... Alternately, I could get totally fucked forever. Thanks, game. Really appreciate it. You've done a bang-up job of screwing me over there. Ah, uh, just gotta get through this one frickin' cave, man. One more cave, and the next time I die... Well, this is a delight. Of course I'm at zero lives. Why wouldn't I be? As soon as I let go of the button, that's it. Yep, 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 yep.
for one brief shining moment it was possible, was it not? Yeah, definitely got to do more inter-exiting. I don't think there's any getting around that. I wish there was. The worst part is, though, that I'm completely out of alcohol. I need that to fuel my rage. Already taking a hit. That ain't good. Fortunately, I can stop by this town and get full health if I want, which I do, because I don't want to continue on with partial health. That would be ridiculous, and why would I do it? Seriously, though, I feel like if I just did some level grinding, I could have this no problem. So, next time, maybe I'll just do the level grinding. I ain't proud. I'll do the level grinding. I've done level grinding before, and it'll happen again. I mean, what's the worst that people can say about me? Oh no, you're not a genius at Zelda 2, The Adventures of Drink? It um... <laughs> yeah, my get good is still at level 1. No, I have not played Breath of the Wild. I am super broke, and... A, all I have is a Wii U, so I'm gonna have to get it for the Wii U. And B, my TV is broken. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody's ever going to think that I'm sober. Even when I'm sober, I act like I'm drunk, so... That's not a problem. Wait, are those still things? I'm surprised those are still things. Well, yeah, I mean, I can play it on the Wii U gamepad. If I want to play the entire game on a tiny little screen, no bigger than this, no bigger than a squirrel. But who wants that? I want to play it on a screen as big as a cow, man. Ugh. Okay. We're gonna get through this now, man. I feel good about this one. That's a lie, I don't feel good about this one, but I'm gonna try. Nonetheless. See, the thing is, I never need to play anything on the go. I mean, the only time I'm playing video games is when I'm at home. So, why would I need to play it on the go? Ever. Come on, we've got to be able to skip this the right way. We can do this. Oh, this 
almost worked out great until the blue bastard showed up. Uh, I hate those blue guys. They are a problem. They are a big problem. Not that the other ones aren't. It's just that the blue lizards are like some of the most painful enemies in the game. Not quite as bad as blue knights, though. Okay. We're gonna get there, man. We're gonna do this. And dodge, and good. Okay. God damn. More of this crap? I didn't need more of this crap. Left sucks. Left is even worse than right in this case, man. I'm telling you. Left is an easier path. I don't think so. Not that it matters, because I'm gonna get killed before I even make it there. Clearly. God damn it. Wait, is left a better path? Oh shit, left is a better path. Well fuck. You're right, DZ. You're absolutely right. I apologize. You were right, I was wrong. The shield spell would really help in these, but there are so very many bad, bad problems. Okay. Gotta do the thing. Do the thing, Julie. Do the thing. Oh god, it's this again. Ah, fudge. Okay, this is okay though. This is okay because we're a couple lives up compared to where we usually are when we get here, so that's good, that's good. We can keep this going. Potentially. Nope, nope, there's... Okay, yeah, there's the blue guy, but he's easier to get around. Okay, good. That's good, that's good, that's good. This is less good, but we'll make it work. We could get that guy to just come up a little higher. Never mind. Let's just go. Okay. Taking this one step at a time, baby. One step at a time. By which I mean I'm charging forth like a mad bastard against my better judgment. Shield, shield, shield. Get me the hell out of here! Stupid game! They're killing me! Lizard men's, I mean. Lizard men often kill me. I'm going to die again, aren't I? Probably. Most likely.
I could really use that life. Nope, there we go, okay. But I've still got a little bit of life left. That's, that's cool. That's what I like to see. This could still get pulled out of the fire. I could make it to the final castle. I really could. I hope I do. 